So this graphics card is $500 and delivers some pretty elite hacks or FPSs or Look, I don't care, it doesn't matter. The point is that it's the cat's pajamas and it's got a price tag that reflects that. To which you might reply, oh, that's nothing, Linus. There's this other sick GFX card. I bet it's gonna get so much more FPSs. And... I think I know what you're talking about and I do see how the logic works. This one's $500 and this one's 5,000. So like it must get 10 times more FPS, right? Sorry, no, it won't. A little bit of investigation about this particular card reveals that the actual graphics core powering it is the very same GK110 as you would find in a regular old GTX 780 at one tenth of the price. And while PC hardware may be powered by magic blue smoke, no amount of magic makes a chip with the same design manufactured on the same process node perform that much better than the same thing on another card. All right, so fine, Linus, I get it. These aren't a great value for gaming, but this makes no sense. Um, if they're basically the same thing, why does one cost $5,000? Well, there are a few reasons, but the biggest one is that the target customers for this product, large content production studios, oil and resource exploration firms, and the like, have a lot more money than you and me. And these products help them make so many more bucket loads of money that they can easily justify the cost. So NVIDIA would be crazy not to take advantage of that. And besides, a Quadro and a GeForce running the same chip aren't quite the same thing. For starters, NVIDIA controls the specifications and quality assurance on all Quadro cards, unlike GeForce cards, which are left to the board partners. So you're gonna get more display port outputs, uh, unique form factors like single slot cards, and professional grade hardware validation. Starting at its heart, a Quadro is gonna get a GPU that is cherry picked for the best reliability, lowest power consumption, and lowest heat output. Then it's gonna get equipped with a larger video memory frame buffer that features error correction technology. Following that, it's gonna get special drivers that are validated for seamless operation with the professional grade applications that these kinds of cards work best for, 3D modeling, animation, and such. And finally, Quadro cards have one key feature enabled in manufacturing that lies dormant on most GeForce cards with Titan being the only current exception, double precision floating point capabilities. Put all these things together and you've got a card that is less susceptible to random errors, works more reliably and for longer, and can perform calculations and draw images with a much greater degree of precision than its consumer grade counterpart. Now this is the part where you probably want to jump in and say, well hold on a second Linus, none of that really sounds like it justifies the extra expense. It seems like Nvidia is actually kneecapping the consumer cards as opposed to drizzling special sauce on the pro ones. And I'm gonna let you finish, but actually, yeah, I can't really argue with that assessment. What I will say in defense of this practice is that A, the pro grade stuff does legitimately cost some more to make. B, gamers don't really need this stuff. I mean, did you ever actually sit there going, well, geez, if only the position of my character's head could have been calculated to 15 decimal places. And C, everyone does it. This paintbrush is made of the same hair from an animal's rear end as some consumer grade one. It's a bit better and it costs a lot more. At least something positive comes out of this practice when it comes to tech though. Pros paying top dollar for gear gives innovative companies the R&D money that they need to deliver better products for us consumers down the road. So even though we can't afford that card that's suitable for complex weather simulations today, at least a year from now, our games will run faster than ever and we can thank the folks who spend lots of money on Quadros and Fire GLs and other professional grade equipment for that. Speaking of saying thanks, our sponsor for today's episode is one that we hold very dear around here since without it, the charming gentleman editing this video might have never gotten started down the path of becoming a fantastic content creator. Lynda.com lets you learn new skills, explore new hobbies, and basically expand your mind with high quality video tutorials made by industry experts. You can become a better photographer, pick up some mad programming skills, learn new software like Adobe Creative Cloud, and much more. And best of all, you're free to learn at your own pace and it's reasonably priced. Plans start at $25 a month, but I have a special offer for you. You can get the first seven days for free by checking out the link in the video description. So give it a shot. You spent five minutes watching this video to learn something. Might as well invest a bit more time and learn something else, right? Anyway, speaking of five minutes, I won't ask you for any more of your time today. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if it sucked. Leave a comment with your suggestions for future fastest possible videos and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.